Now this is the latissimus dorsi muscle. Latissimus, this is Latin, and that means the broadest, and dorsi is of the back. So this is the broadest muscle of the back, and you can see it. Look, look at it, it's just huge. And the insertion is, it's a very broad insertion, and it attaches into this structure here, which has another very big long name called the aponeurosis. And the aponeurosis is a very, very thick fibrous band that runs across the lower back, which helps to join the lower back into the pelvis. So it's all part of the glue that holds this area of the body together, which is the area that actually carries the greatest stress. So the latissimus attaches into this. It then runs up across the back. It, at this point here, it narrows down and it forms a very thick band of muscle, which is running across the back of your armpit. Then becomes a tendon, big strong tendon, and runs into the inside of the humerus. The movements of the muscle, when the muscle contracts, it will pull your arm backwards and will tend to turn it inwards. So things that set pain off in the latissimus dorsi are swimming, anything which is vigorous where you chop if you play tennis, if you are lifting yourself up or pressing down in a vigorous way, that will turn triggers on in the latissimus dorsi. The trigger points occur in the free edge of the muscle, so they're right here. You discover them, or you'll find that later, by lifting up the free edge and, and squeezing it. The pain that you feel is actually not where the trigger occurs, but the pain is out here. And it is a deep, horrible, enigmatic type pain. All too often, this is an area where people feel pain commonly. And who would think of feeling for the pain in the free edge of the latissimus dorsi? Everyone goes prodding here. So this is really important. It occurs quite commonly and is absolutely worth looking for. So we're now going to look at how to find it in examination and then how to treat it.